Hey everyone, Cliff Wow here, back with another video. So this is another video about how to make more gold in Classic WoW, but this time it's not focused on what to farm, where to farm it, it's actually focused on professions. But rather than the typical route of focusing on what professions to do, or where to go, or what recipes to use, it's actually just about using the profession specific cooldowns and leveling up multiple characters. So let's get into it. So first off, I just wanted to show you my character screen here. I originally had my rogue as my first character. I then went to level a warlock specifically to be able to use for these profession cooldowns. I ended up liking it a little bit more than I thought. And I went past what I needed, which is level 35. I went all the way to 60. I'm now working on my hunter, which is my third alt, which I will likely stop at 35. Now the reason for level 35 is it's the minimum level you can be to be able to unlock the level 225 plus professions. So specifically in this video, I'll be talking about alchemy, leatherworking, and tailoring. So I'll start with tailoring as that's the profession I went with my warlock. Now with tailoring, you have something called moon cloth. So you can make one moon cloth out of two fell cloth every four days. That's right, it's got a four day cooldown on it. So you take these two fell cloth, you go to a moon well anywhere, for example, Stormwind is a good one. Uh, and you can go make a moon cloth simply usually the moon cloth sells for around 20 gold each and this is because they're used in first off moon cloth bags which are 16 slot bags and also a bunch of different recipes and more recipes or patterns to come in the future as well so moon cloth will become even more valuable likely once zulgar rub comes out for these blood vine pieces next up we'll talk about leatherworking this is the profession i went on my main and leatherworking allows you access to be able to make something called refined deep rock salts. To do this, you buy a salt shaker, usually from the auction house, it's made by engineers. And this salt shaker allows you to buy a deep rock salt, which is just a few silver, and turn it into a refined deep rock salt. The refined deep rock salt can then be combined with a rugged hide to make a cured rugged hide. Now these are used in a ton of different recipes, specifically devil source sets and Recently, the Hide of the Wild Cloak, which is the best in slot healing cloak for basically every class. So you can see how this would be very important. Now this is on a three day cooldown, it's a little bit faster than the Moon Cloth. And currently it's worth quite a bit more money, at least on Feralina Alliance side, these refined deep rock salts are going for about 35 gold each. So that means every three days, just by having level 250 leather working, you make a free 35 gold. Now this will likely come down a bit as these Hide of the Wilds get less popular, but for now it is a fantastic way of making gold. Lastly is Alchemy. So this is actually the profession I'm going to be going on my Hunter, and that's because of their transmutes. So you can transmute basically every essence to any other essence. For example, you can transmute Essence of Undeath to Essence of Water. Now on my server, that could go for anywhere from about 15 to 18 gold, and that only has a one day cooldown. However, some of these transmute recipes are fairly rare, so you may have to spend 100 gold plus to get started on this, but once you do, you're set. So all of these transmutes that I'm showing here all share that one day cooldown, as well as they share a cooldown with the Arcanite Bar transmute. So this is transmuting an Arcane Crystal and a Thorium Bar, into an Arcanite bar. Now this can be done only every 48 hours. So with alchemy, this is all actually done by having an item called a Philosopher's Stone. And once you do any of these transmutes, it puts your Philosopher's Stone on cooldown for that same amount of time. So for example, if you do the transmute from Undeath to Water, that puts your Philosopher's Stone on cooldown for 24 hours. If you do the Arcanite Bar Transmute, that puts it on cooldown for 48 hours. In the future, if you do the Heart of Fire to Elemental Fire Transmute, that puts it on cooldown for 10 minutes. So it very much depends on which one you do and which one can be most profitable for you. But if you just want to have an alt that can make a bunch of money basically once a day, you just log on, make that 18 or 20 gold and log back off, then Alchemy is definitely the best profession to stick on an alt and just be able to basically feed more than your raid consumables every week by doing next to nothing. So if you like this video guys, please drop a like down below. If you didn't, please comment and let me know why you didn't. And we could have a little bit of a discussion. I love replying to the comments in the video. I'm very thankful that all of you are watching. And if you like other videos on my channel, please consider subscribing. 
I'd really appreciate that. And check me out on Twitch on twitch.tv slash cliffwow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.